Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm doing a review of the Rundwear underwear. I have been using this product and this brand for years and only just getting around to making a review video now. Rundwear did send me two pairs of their underwear but I already owned like three pairs beforehand that I've been using religiously on every single run. So yeah, I'm going to do a, a video kind of talking about them and giving you the prices and what I think about them before I even get into the video that, like I said, they're a godsend product for me and I use them all the time so I recommend them to anyone who is looking for a chafe-free, moisture-wicking alternative to wear under your shorts and your running gear. Um, but yeah, I'm going to kind of talk about the product and let you know why I think they're, they're really great. So Rundwear has been designed and engineered with a, a 360 degree seamless technology and it's basically designed to help reduce chafing. Um, it's got moisture wicking properties in there so it wicks away the sweat as you run and they dry really quickly as well. And yeah, they have no seams on them whatsoever so that's good and that kind of minimises the chafing. If you're someone that suffers with chafing like I do, especially in the summer months when it starts to get really hot, then having a decent pair of undergarment like underwear is literally a godsend. Before I had these, I had really bad chafing. Um, I won't go into too much of specific details, but it was pretty bad and I've worn these ever since I discovered them. So I have the long short version, which I bought recently to try out and they have been brilliant. Um, I will show you them in a, in a second, but yeah, I have the long short version. I also have the women's hot pant version, which they sent me. Um, I've been trying those out as well. And my favorite has been the women's brief. These are the ones that I've had before. I had, to, I've got three pairs already before they sent me them. So the actual rundwear themselves look like this. So it just has the rundwear here, but this is basically what it looks like. It is super soft material, super stretchy, literally no seams whatsoever. And that's basically what they look like. These are the brief version for women. So they're basically like a pair of um, granny pants is how I like to explain them. Um, but these are the fa most favourite style that I own. I have four pairs of these now. These ones that Runderwear sent me and three that I've had beforehand. Um, and like I said, I run in these all the time. They have practically just completely got rid of any sort of chafing that I had previously. And they're really good at wicking away the sweat. So you don't get too sweaty and that's kind of what causes the chafing anyway. So yeah, it's really good at wicking away moisture. So that is the um, the brief version. So I also have an older version of the briefs. So you'll kind of be able to tell the difference. Um, these are the older pair and these are the newer pair. Um, there's not much too much um, in terms of changes between them. I think that the newer pair is slightly thinner material which makes them a bit more breathable than these ones. Um, but other than that, they're practically the same products. They're really great quality. I've had these years um, probably going on three, three years um, and they are still in pretty much perfect nick. Um, and I can't fault the quality of them. I've not had to really rebuy any. Um, I've just had to buy more now that I am run streaking uh, just to cover the amount of underwear that I actually have. So yeah, I've got two of the pink and I've got two of the black, but one is in the wash from where I'm running today. So that is those ones. Then I have the hot pants that they sent me as well. Now these um, I'm not as keen on in terms of style, but that's only because I have quite large thighs and I tend to uh, find that this bit at the bottom that is kind of sitting on the thigh kind of rolls up a bit but other than that still no chafing whatsoever still brilliant for moisture wicking um, they're just not my favorite style and i prefer the briefs um, but if you like the kind of hot pants style then go for this one um, same great quality and aspects of the underwear i actually quite like the fact that it says under here as well don't run commando which i totally agree with i would never ever ever run commando especially not since i discovered these so that is the hot pant version 
and then I most recently got the long short version. Now I had been asking Rundaway if they were going to come out with something like this. Um, in the summer months I quite liked the idea of wearing like floaty lightweight shorts. However, when it comes to that, you kind of get the thigh chafing and I am very, very prone to thigh chafing. And when you kind of don't want to wear your tighter shorts and you want to wear something a bit more comfortable and floaty and breathable, um, I really wanted something as like a base layer to go underneath floaty shorts so that I could um, still be protected from thigh chafe but not kind of have that thick material in the summer. I will insert a picture of what I'm talking about with regards to like floaty lightweight shorts and these long shorts underneath but these are absolutely brilliant. They come down quite long on the leg, uh, you'll probably see that from the picture and same moisture wicking properties, same no chafing whatsoever in between the thighs and they've been brilliant. They also have a like silicone gripper on the bottom. They don't ride up whatsoever. I've worn these for a couple of runs now and not had any problems whatsoever. The only thing I haven't tried is running with them on their own. I always had like a floaty pair of shorts underneath. However, from what I've seen, they aren't really see-through unless you bend over, which typically you wouldn't do when you're running. Um, so I think they'd be okay for that, but I haven't done that so far. Uh, but yeah, another brilliant style. I don't find any sort of VPL with mine. I know some people do, um, but I haven't found any sort of VPL visible panty line underneath my tighter shorts. However, they do have a anti-VPL version of um, their underwear products. And they also have a, I think it's Merino, um, which is for like climate when it's hot and cold. They also have other products as well, so they have a bra, so they have a crop top style which is ideal for A and B cups. And then they also have a bra version which goes from A to E cups. Um, unfortunately they aren't in my size at the moment, however hopefully they bring something out in the future for bigger cup sizes. And they also do like undergarments as well, like uh, technical t-shirts, and they also do a tri-suit as well. Uh, which I am probably going to consider uh, given that I do triathlons and will be open water swimming and stuff like that um, when it gets warmer so I'm definitely going to be considering getting one of them as well especially given how much chafing I got with my last tri suit <laughs> um, so it would be interesting to try those out and then another purchase that I made recently was for their underwear socks so I purchased these a couple of weeks ago and I really like these. I suffer with blisters on the side of my toes and sometimes in between my toes and these are brilliant, these are their anti-blister socks and as you will be able to see, if I can show you, they have like a double layer so it's got like a layer inside and then the sock on the outside so the idea is that they um, obviously have the double layer so that your foot sits on the inside layer and your shoe or whatever else rubs on the outside so it's kind of not rubbing against your actual foot which um, is what causes blisters in the first place so having a double layered sock is pretty good so that is that so overall they're a really great product they've stood up quality wise I haven't had to replace them or even worry about having to replace them and they I can't really fault them whatsoever, they have practically got rid of my chafing completely. The products are available for men and women, so go and check out the website to find the different styles for both men and women if you are interested in checking them out. In terms of sizing, if anyone is wondering, just follow the size guides. I'll try and make it focus on the ones on the back so you can see it. So here are the size guides for the products. Um, they're pretty spot on when it comes to the size guides. They also have um, the size guides on the website where you can actually enter your measurements and it'll give you the size that is recommended. But I wouldn't kind of worry about having anything that is too small because they are super stretchy, super comfortable. You hardly even realise that you're wearing them. Um, so yeah, if you suffer with chafing or anything to kind of wick away the moisture, definitely get yourself a pair. I am loaded up for quite a while. Um, but I, I expect that I will at some point need to repurchase pairs and I wouldn't go anywhere else other than these. I wouldn't wear anything else. 
Um, so yeah, that is it in terms of the actual Runderwear garments. But in terms of pricing for the Runderwear briefs, they're eighteen pounds. Now that can seem a bit extreme for a pair of Runder for a pair of underwear, um, but for for what they do and for the chafing that they reduce and just the general overall quality I definitely think they're worth it and I would purchase again in a heartbeat if I needed to then the long short version which are these ones here these are 23 again I have no qualms with the price whatsoever it might seem steep to some people um, but for the quality it's it's bang on and then for the hot pants they're 20 which isn't too bad, um, but I wouldn't be purchasing these styles because I just prefer the long shorts and the briefs. And then the socks, they're 12. Again, may seem steep to some people when you can buy others, but for the quality and for what they do and their purpose, I think they're pretty spot on. Um, yeah, not much else to say about them, to be honest. They're just a great quality product, something that I wear all the time. Obviously when I'm run commuting and with the hot weather that we've been having at the moment um, it's been super sweaty runs and I've not had any issues whatsoever when it comes to chafing or anything like that. So yeah, i definitely check out the products. I know that if you're a new customer you do get 10% off your first order and I think if you're watching this, which hopefully I've edited in time, they do have an Easter, stay, an Easter sale on at the moment. I'll put the code up here and that's for 20% off and I'll leave the date for when that runs out as well. But I'll leave links below to all the products that I'm using and a link to Runderwear uh, below so you can check it out. But yeah, great product, would recommend to anyone. if. Just, just get a pair, you will not be disappointed whatsoever. So that is it for my Runderwear review. I have nothing but good things to say about them um, and highly recommend them, so go and check them out. Do let me know, do you run Commando or do you run in any sort of underwear? Are you a Runderwear fan like me? Let me know in the comments below. If you liked this video and found it helpful, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to find more content like this. If you have any questions about Runderwear in general, then leave them in the comments and I'll be sure to answer them. But other than that, I hope you have a great rest of your week and I will see you again in my next video. Bye.